It's the service Australians love to hate. And grievances with the NBN are growing at a rapid rate. The number of complaints has tripled in the past year, prompting the government to overhaul how your problems are handled in the future. In the six months to December last year, the telecommunications ombudsman fielded nearly 85,000 complaints about phones, internet and NBN providers. Three quarters of those complaints have nothing to do with the NBN. But almost 23,000 people did complain about the controversial national broadband network, up 203% on the same period last year. It's natural that complaints will increase as the rollout um, continues. Only 5% or a little over a thousand have been referred to NBN. That's because consumers can't complain directly to NBN Co if they have a problem. They have to complain to their own telecommunications provider first. It is about blame shifting as between retailers and the NBN and backwards and forwards go the consumer with no resolution. Like Blacktown florist Suzanne Wills, whose sales slumped 80% after she installed the NBN and ended up with no phone or internet for two months. Not receiving our orders, uh, you put your staff on and there's no orders coming through. We don't want anybody to have a poor experience and we're moving pretty fast and it is complicated. But the Minister today flagged as part of his review greater financial penalties for companies, including the NBN, that let down customers and small business. You do uh, want there to be a, a little bit of a sting uh, for telcos uh, when it comes to behaviour that isn't what it should be. The most common complaints relate to fees and charges, more than 34,000 of them, followed by poor response by the telco and poor service quality. Quite incredibly, more than 10,700 people and businesses complained about having no service at all. A disaster for business or families with kids in today's digital age. I think the level of complaints indicates that they've got more work to do. Ross Greenwood, Nine News.